Morning guys, out for a nice early morning bimble. Uh, about what, half six on a Sunday morning. Uh, I was going to go yesterday morning, but the, the weather prediction and a nice frost for the first thing this morning is a lot better. Anyway, we'll go for a bimble and uh, see what we can see. That was deer barking. Monk Jack. You hear that? The Monk Jack bark at an unperceived threat. So if they hear something and they don't know what it is, they'll bark at it. So if you're laying in your hammock at night and they start barking, they're probably barking at you. Right now they're probably barking at me. They sound a bit too far away for that though. Um, if you're laying in your hammock and they keep you awake at night, just say, shut up! And they go, oh, there he is. Oh, yeah, he's over there. That's what, that's what we were worried about. Because they can smell something or they can slightly hear something, but they don't actually know exactly where you are. As soon as you sort of sound off and give your location, they will leave you alone. But they'll also bark at foxes and other sort of predators. Interesting. He's really going for it, isn't he? Let me get in closer. I've walked to where I thought I heard him, um, but I've obviously scared him off. It's so easy, it's so hard to walk through the woods without making any noise. Anyway, and I found a load of tracks, so this is probably where he was standing barking, because he's not walking, he's not feeding, and these tracks are quite deep. And they're fresh as well. So I think that's where he was standing barking his head off at me. And see up from there, see? And he's told off his way around the hoof. He's told off that way. Don't know if I'll be able to follow him on the green, but I'll have a go. group of them. I just saw the bum of one of them. But he's standing in his ground. Female. 
That's not the same one. Another one started over there now. And now I'm into the sun, so he's got the advantage. Scared this one off. I'm going to try on a twig. I'm just go dead silent. He's looking right at me. Who are you? What are you doing in my house? <laughs> I think I've aggravated him enough. Um, I'm going to stick a hammer a couple of a brew, I think. So I've heard a couple of dogs barking as well, which doesn't help. That puts them right on edge. It's two different, two different males I've seen. I haven't seen any females yet, but they're usually pretty quiet. They're not stroppy. Have I showed you this before? I don't think so. This is a little lever carrier I made. So it's just a loop down the back and back up. A little popper on the front as well, so you can get it out. That's my... Uh, Stainless pot. But I'm just going to have a very quick jet bowl brew. Um, I made a new lap down this leaf as well.
wet formed Laplander sheaf. It's actually a belt loop, just tucked straight back. That retains the shape of the Laplander. It's a bit rough already, but it's practical. Been saving up on these trees, nuts, uh, food for free, and mushrooms. Nice kind of uh, refreshers when you see something, but they don't take up too much room. They're the Collins Gem books. This is just my little day bag thingy. It's got some Molly attachments on it. Dead cheap, doesn't look all camo, doesn't look like you're gonna go and burn the woods down. Um, got a little bag there, keep your batteries in. The granola bar, some bits of paracord in that one. Most of it's just uh, camera gear and uh, brew kit, that's all it is. And uh, the TW Super Light, which I've now got up. So I'll just wait for this to boil and I shall have a brew. Take it all back, all the nasty things I've said about jet boil, um, the colour changing bit. Um, that's actually the right temperature for coffee, that's just before boiling point. Um, that's gone orange. I thought it went orange at, at boiling point. Um, so, this with clean fresh water. Obviously you need to boil uh, any dirty water or found water or filtered water or whatever. Um, but last week when I made a coffee, it was so bloody hot, it was undrinkable for about 10 minutes. Because this is insulated as well, which doesn't help. Anyway, I'm going to sit in the hammock. What an awful way to spend a Sunday morning. Goes right off down there. Right. <laughs> How to navigate this? Right, let's go for it. Right guys, when you find a freaky ass hole in the middle of the woods with like a two foot square entrance, don't go crawling down it. Let's go crawling down it. An old Anderson shelter. Or a wood store. It's more like a bomb shutter though. Corrugated iron, but the brickwork looks quite neat and new. Nice logs though. But they're seasoned perfectly. It's easy to spend the night in here, can not you? Who would know? It's lit.
So here's an, here's an important life lesson, folks, right? Very nice bubbling stream. Nice, pure, clean water. Coming down. And then a big lump of foamy crap, which is probably runoff. We've had a hell of a lot of rain, uh, but runoff from the fields where they've been spraying, possibly. Um, so it could be silage, pesticides, fertilizer, or all, all of the above. So there you go always filter and boil your water because that could probably make you ill. Life lesson number two folks, right. So there we go, a bit of a babbling brook, nice and clean. We've got foamy stuff, foamy stuff. And a dead monk jack. Now that is bum, is sitting, her bum, sorry. Um, it's sitting right in the stream, so if you're eating from up there, that can be contaminated with rotting deer. But yeah, it's definitely been there, I don't know, probably a couple of three days. Um, yeah, nowhere near edible. Stop staring at it, because it's a bit grim. Um, with Monk Jack, because they're or you can see me. Um, yeah, with a little monk jack, because they're from Asia, their uh, height, their fur is really short, um, used to warmer climates. Uh, so if we have prolonged rain, and we have had a lot of rain, and it was really cold this week, um, and we've had quite a lot of rain, um, once their fur's wet, they're buggered, really. Um, so, so prolonged rain, that'll, that'll kill them off. The only other thing that'll kill them off is... Um, so there's so many little birds around here, it's been fascinating. Um, yeah, the other thing that'll kill them off would be um, their teeth wear out. Because they've got no natural predators other than us. Um, where they, they ruminate and chew so much, they wear their teeth out. So they starve to death. Um, but that one, the teeth look fine. It looks actually quite young. Um, but in the, in the winter, if they're wet, cold, and pregnant, because monk jacks can be pregnant all the time, um, <sighs> so, yeah. so hard to talk to the camera when you're sort of watching the woodland out your peripheral if you keep seeing stuff moving and you think what's that what's that what's that and it's just a bird um where was i yeah because they're from a warmer climate they can breed all year round so as soon as they give birth they're ready to breed again so where with uh bigger deer more more modern deer because uh, monk jack is basically a primitive deer um, but with more modern deer they actually rut at the end of the summer breed and the female will hold the sperm until the spring and then make herself pregnant and it seems like a really long gestation period but it's actually not um, it's because they hold the sperm same with pandas do exactly the same thing um, and if the female isn't in a 100% tip-top environment where there's plenty of food and she's happy, she will not get pregnant. But monk jacks don't do that, so they're pregnant all of the time. So in the winter, when there's not a lot of food around and they're cold and they're wet, just, being, just giving birth will kill them. Um, I think it was uh, Dom Demonstrates, he found... Uh, a little monk jack with a with a baby hanging out the back of it, which is uh, pretty sad, but you know, end of the day, circle of life and all that. But every single time I walk around a corner, 
I see more bluebells and it just looks more beautiful. And then I think, oh, I have to do a really slow panning shot of that because that looks amazing. Mm -hmm.